guess what time it is? It's Theros Beyond Death time. What's good, everyone? Welcome to the channel. If you're new to it, my name is Jake. Super glad to have you here. And we're going to crack into this, this case. Oh, my God. Of Theros Beyond Death. It is pre-release weekend. And I am super... Oh, look at that. I even... Sliced open this first box here. This first box goes out to a friend of the channel and a longtime sub, Zach. Uh, where do I put this? Oh, Zach, here is uh, well, here's your box, buddy. Let's crack into it. See what we get. I have been itching for a new set. Throne of Eldraine was great. I loved Throne of Eldraine. The problem with Throne of Eldraine was everything was getting banned. <laughs> so here we are. New set, new cards. Okay, new greatness. Let's see. Good luck, my friend. This, if you guys noticed, uh, on the box, it's English, and it was... These were manufactured in Japan. So you see, like, these packs are... Kind of floppy floppy. All right, give that. Oh, look at these tokens. That's kind of cool. Human soldier. Ooh, that full art energy island. Constellation island, though, really. That's pretty sweet. Treacherous blessing. When treacherous bl uh, bl 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 when treacherous blessing enters the battlefield, draw three cards. I'm in. Ignore the rest. I'm in. Draw three cards. Whenever you cast a spell, lose one life. When Treacherous Blessing becomes a target of a spell or ability, sacrifice it. Oh, well, that's kind of cool, though. Cost three. It's an enchantment. Banishing Light. We all should know this card. It's going to almost certainly see standard play. Escape Velocity. Huh. The Binding of the Titans. Wow, that art is fantastic. Look at that. That is so sick looking. Adam Paquette. Yeah, he does, he does good stuff. So it's a saga, uh, colorless and a green. Each player puts the top three cards of their library into their graveyard. All right. Uh, second mode, exile up to two target cards uh, from graveyards. For each creature card, exile this way, gain a life, and then return target creature or land card from your graveyard to your hand. All right, that's kind of fun. And then we'll kind of go through some of these comments here. We won't do this for all of them, but just to kind of get a feel of the new set. Nyxborn Brute, Nyxborn Corsair. Uh, Portrait of Betrayal, Final Death, it actually will be pretty good and limited, I'm sure. An instant exile creature. Exile being uh, certainly a thing when you have indestructible gods running amok. Uh, Triumphant Surge, Vexing Gull, that's kind of, that'll see play certainly in, in uh, blue, blue decks and limited. Oh, goats, creating goats, nice. Eidolon of Philosophy. <laughs> Pay seven, draw three cards. Uh, let's see, escapes with a plus or plus one counter on it. It's a four one though. Ooh, yikes. Fruit of Tizarus. This is um, yeah, it's pretty bad. All right, and there we have it. Made it through our first pack. Uh, play. Okay, well we started out and we got our foil rare. That's pretty sweet. Dalakos, Crafter of of uh, Wonders. I, you know what? Let me pull up uh, prices real quick so I can... Yeah, this isn't one of the hits for rares, but, you know, I think in these boxes we'll still be getting two, hopefully two foil rares, or a foil rare and a foil mythic. Uh, let's see, it's one, and then is it, you can tap it, add two colorless, spend this mana only to cast artifact spells or activated abilities of artifacts, and then equipped creatures you control have flying and haste. So two, four. I mean, the art's pretty cool, though. It's like this merfolk uh, thing doing something <laughs> good description jake uh hectos the unscarred that's interesting uh attacks each combat if able six one 
As it enters the battlefield, it choose two, three, or four at random, and then it has protection from each converted mana cost other than the chosen. Well, that's not great. Uh, Mistress Chimera. I'm, I, you know what I love about the Theros sets are the the constellation or the enchantment border, how it has like that constellation. I, I just love that. I think that's so cool. Oh, Feel of Ruin? Nice. Stampede Rider. Traveler's Amulet. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. We'll keep it moving here. We're already six minutes in. We've only made it through two packs, so that's <laughs> not great. We'll speed it up. Ooh! Archon of Sun's Grace first. Flying lifelink. Uh, Pegasus creatures you control have lifelink. And then whenever you cast an enchantment, get a 2 2. And then Renata called to the hunt with that, uh, that cool art. That's pretty sweet. And. Well, there's a Nyad. I wish we could have gotten. Uh, uh, well, I guess Bestow wasn't a mechanic that they brought back, so it would have been a little weird to have Nimbus Nyad. Thrill of Possibility. Uh, yep, that's pretty good. Foil Thrill Possibility. Nice. Phoenix of Ash. Uh, Flying Haste gets plus two plus zero into an editor and then it has escape. It's interesting. I feel like whenever we get a Phoenix printed in standard, it ends up being like a $20 card. This isn't seen that pre-release. Uh, Kenoros. Nice. I actually kind of like this. This dog, it's got Vigilance, Menace, Lifelink. Uh, the creature cards in graveyards can't enter the battlefield, and then players can't cast spells from graveyards. It's a pretty good uh, pretty good Hoser card. And it's a great rate, right? Like, it's a 3-3 three, three with Vigilance and Menace and Lifelink. And it only costs 3. Ooh, a Foil Timoret chosen from death. That's pretty spicy. Two black. It's a 2x, its toughness is equal to your devotion to black, and then you can pay a, a colorless and a black, exile up to two target cards from your uh, from graveyards. You gain one life for each creature card exile this way. That art, though, is sick. Nice. And then a Thrix. Thrix seems pretty good. Nice. Elspeth's Nightmare. Okay. Wall. Storm Herald. Alright, we'll start picking up the pace here. God. <clears throat> you know, I, I feels kind of... Ooh, a Temple of Plenty. The uh, ally Scryland. It does feel a little bit bad going this slow uh, to start, but you know what? I know that Zack enjoys... Enjoys watching the openings, and uh, I just, you know, it's a new set. Kind of want to soak it in, get a, get a good feel for it. Soul Reaper of Mogis. Is there a foil? Nylia's Intervention. Green, green, X. Choose one, search your library for up to X land cards. Reveal them, put them into your hand, then shelf your library. Or it deals twice X damage. This is a cycle of, um, uh, of cards. Each color has one. And these... These uh, saga arts are all really, really good. I like them all a lot. All right. Ooh, ref reflection. That's a interesting token. Ooh! <laughs> Elspeth, Sun's Nemesis. I don't think this is like one of the most expensive mythics. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's about nine bucks right now, but it's still pretty sweet. That's still pretty sweet. Costs two white, two colorless, comes in with five loyalty. You can minus one, up to two target creatures you control, get plus two, plus one until end of turn. You can minus Elspeth to create two one one white soldier tokens, uh, or you can minus three, gain five life, but then it has escape for two colorless and four, or two white and four colorless. And the art's pretty sweet. That spear is super cool looking. Nice, nice. All right, did I already miss? I think I missed a mythic already. No, that was our first mythic, all right. Yeah, probably because I'm going super slow. <laughs> okay, keep moving, that was our first mythic. Got an Elspeth. We definitely want that Heliod and that Euro, right? Euro, Euro, Nessian Boar. Ooh, it's a 10-6. Hmm. 
Oh, this must be the uh, the old reflection token. All right. Yeah, and then like Thassa, obviously we want Thassa's. What I am super excited about is that Nyx Bloom Ancient. Underworld Dreams foil, three black. Whenever an opponent draws a card, it deals one damage to that player. That's pretty sweet. Arasta of the Endless Web. All right. We are finally a third of the way <laughs> through the box. My goal is to end this under 15 minutes. Can we do it? Tara Taranika? Mm. And if any of you guys are interested in having a box opened, hit me up at summonthepack at gmail. Ooh, spicy, spicy. I um, am wondering. Oh, and then Anilia. Dang, that was a pretty spicy pack. We got the foil energy constellation planes. That looks so good. I actually think, I mean, they all look great, but... I think the mountain might be my favorite. I'm not a red player, but I think the mountain looks amazing. And then Nylia. Green, three colorless, five, six, indestructible. As long as your devotion to green is less than five, it's not a creature. Creature spells cost one less to cast. That's pretty good. And then you can pay uh, two colors and a green reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, put it in your hand. Otherwise, you may put it into your graveyard. Or you can just keep it on top. So that's, uh, yeah, good stuff. Congrats on that foil plane, Zach. I'm, I wonder if uh, there's one per box, like in a typical Ashiox Erasure. Daxos in the fun art. Yeah, I wonder if there's one per box. I'm. It's not clear to me. I've seen, I've seen um, some boxes open and get one, and I've seen some boxes open and not get one. Uh, Protein Thaumaturge. Oh, there's a gray merchant. Nice. It's a welcome reprint. I hopefully will open a foil gray merchant. I have an OG foil gray merchant, Labyrinth of Scophos. A very, very, very bad Maze of Ith. But I guess this one taps for mana. Um, yeah, I have an, an OG foil gray merchant, but I only have one, and I have I use gray merchant in a couple of decks and in my cube, so it would be cool just to get. Uh, oh my god, I saw that blue and the Thassa, but. This is not a foil Thassa. See, oh, Timurant and Timurant. Okay, wait a minute, what's happening here? There's our rare, there's our, there we go. Sorted it out. Mountain, oh, <laughs> shut up, get out of here. Woo, Calyx. Our third mythic, and it's in that super, super sweet borderless art. Shut up. That is spicy. Oh, yep. I mean, I don't, that's, that, I, I don't know. I, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. That's, uh, that's pretty sweet. I really love this card. I think this makes, I mean, Oathbreaker seems like it's kind of fallen out of, uh, out of the spotlight, but this would make a pretty sweet Oathbreaker commander. White, green, two, uh, two colors, four loyalty. You can plus one look at the top four cards of your library. You may put, you may reveal an enchantment card from among them and put that card into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom in a random order. You can minus three, target creature or enchantment you don't control uh, until, wait, what is it? I can't read. Exile target creature or enchantment you don't control until target enchantment you control leaves the battlefield. That's pretty good. And then minus seven, return all enchantment cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Wow, that is super spicy. And this art is, I mean, the borderless thing is, I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't love these packs, though. I, I want my super tight, crispy, hard to open <laughs> other packs. I think the car these cards are, are, they feel better, though. Uh, the first Rowan games. It's kind of cool. The pull tab is nice, but I don't know. They just feel they feel sloppy. Island Whoa Strider. Whoa Strider. 
Oh, memory drain. I was like, did that say mana drain? Obviously, it didn't say mana drain. Obviously. Renata called to the hunt. Look at her up there on that rock. Looking all good with that spear, looking all strong. Bronze Hide Lion. Ooh, Stinging Lionfish. It's kind of fun. We go making our way through. Look at that goat. Elspeth conquers death. She sure did. Good for you, Elspeth. I was rooting for you. I was rooting for you the whole time. Karametra's Blessing. Ooh. Okay. Kroxa, Titan of Death's Hunger. I was actually pretty excited about this card, too. A black, a red. It's 6-6. Six, six. Cost 2, it's 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> uh, but when it enters the battlefield, sacrifice it unless it, it escapes. And then when it enters the battlefield or attacks, each opponent discards a card. Then each opponent who didn't discard a card loses 3 life. And then you can escape it for 2 black and 2 red. I think this is going to make a super fun commander. I'm very excited to... Try to brew with it. Hopefully, I can crack one. Zach, I must say, I mean, we haven't seen an Euro or a Heliod, but I'm, I mean, I don't know. I would have been pretty happy to <laughs> have gotten this box. If you want to trade me, let me know. Uh, <laughs> okay, last stack here. We're definitely not going to make that that 15 minute mark. Ooh! <laughs> what? Dried of the Elysian Grove. This card is another one that I was super, super pumped about. Two, or a green and two colorless. It's a 2-4. You can play an additional land on each of your turns. And then lands you control are every basic land type in addition to their other types. It's kind of like an Azusa. It's kind of like a Prismatic Omen mashed together. Wow. I, and it's an enchantment, so you can tutor it up with the new Idyllic Tutor. Well, not really new, the reprint Idyllic Tutor. This is super spicy, though. And in foil? Oh, get out of here. Gallia, the of the endless dance. This art is kind of kooky. It's a little, little wild. Looks like it should have been in uh, like a battle bond, maybe. But a little kind of cool. Man, Zach. Okay. I mean, you didn't get. Wow. You didn't get the euro yet. What am I doing? Eidolon of Obstruction. Loyalty abilities of planeswalkers. Your opponents control cost one more to activate that is a super hoser card <laughs> i love my planeswalker so i don't know how i feel about that one uh -huh. see i like opening packs like that i get the tear away the little rip tab is nice but that's creepy gravebreaker lamia uh yep that's a uh, pretty pretty freaky looking oh there's a shoal what shoal is that? Shoal Kraken. Shoal Kraken. No one cares about your shoal. Heroes of the Revel. Mantle of the Wolf. What am I doing? And then another Ranata. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see. Ooh, Shadow Spear. I must say, this art is really, really good. I think... Yeah, I'm kind of torn on this card. I don't think it's super powerful, but... Uh, it might be C play. I don't know. I feel like they could have pushed it a little bit more, but... Ooh, Daxos in the foil... Uh, what do we call this? It's not storybook. Constellation art, maybe? Is that what we, what we call these? Citizen Champion. This is pretty good. Cost of green, two colors, so one three. Whenever you cast an whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, uh, put a plus one plus one counter and draw a card. Seems pretty good. Another field of ruin. That's great. Winding down, coming to the home stretch here, Zach. Man, you did like I said, you didn't. You haven't. Well, we're not done yet. We still have four packs in this one. You didn't haven't gotten a euro or a hell yet or a. Nissa yet, but even if you don't end up with one of those, man, I'd say you did pretty good. Dream Trawler. 
Okay. Come on, man. Let's close out strong. Ooh, that Kraken's pretty sweet looking. Is that a... Oh, yeah. It, like, speared this monster fish up. That's pretty cool. All right. Uh, Nick Sporn Brute. Eat to extinction. Huh. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Another banishing light. That's good. All right. Two packs. Let's see. Can we get a fifth fifth mythic Ooh. oh well uh non-foil dry that's good happy to pull that and as we close out what will be behind this mountain will it be uh, underworld breach well buddy you didn't get that euro or that uh helieta thassa but or Nyx Bloom, no, we did, did we get a Nyx Bloom Ancient? We didn't get a Nyx Bloom Ancient either. Hmm, bummer. We didn't get any of the huge, uh, any of the huge mythics, but, man, between this Calyx alternate, that's pretty sweet, and, I don't know, Croxa, I think, I think Croxa's pretty spicy, and then, yeah, we think we, I think you did pretty good. Plus, you got the foil, the foil planes, and, yeah, I mean, this is literally the first first box I've opened, so I'm not sure how, uh, like how often you get these things either. It'd be cool to kind of put together a set of them. You did end up with two foil rares, but all right, buddy, I will get these out, and then of course, you got this stack of beautiful, beautiful land. Can't be upset about that. So, all right, buddy, thanks so much for the sponsoring the video. I will get these cards out to you ASAP. And until the next one, my friends, I will see you later. Take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic pre-release weekend. Open tons of good stuff. Make sure you have fun. Be respectful of your opponents and yourselves. And have a good time. And I'll see you guys, uh, I don't know, maybe tomorrow, maybe Sunday. But I'm going to keep rolling these videos out for you. All right. Later.